Hey, so how's it going, everybody? So I woke up this morning to a dream <clears throat> that I had. And as soon as I woke up, I didn't even come all the way to. And I knew, I told my wife, half asleep, I need to make a video. <clears throat> I knew this was for the body of Christ. And I knew it's coming soon. <clears throat> um, and then I got the interpretation today also. So as the part I'm going to tell you um, that's for the church is quite short. Um... I was riding in a car with somebody, and we were listening to the phones um, because there was a storm. And I knew the storm was about an hour away. It was going to get to us soon, <clears throat> and it was very bad, okay? And then as it uh, was coming, um, they, the phone started rrr, 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 and going off those alarms. There's like a siren going off on our phone to warn us. Um, of the storm and it said very high pressure dangerous high pressure system coming uh, and it was coming straight for us <clears throat> and um, and it's had damaging tornadoes a damaging uh, a large damaging tornado and a very high pressure system and it was coming straight for us the alarm was going off <clears throat> so I began to pray throughout the day and at church and everything like Lord what does this mean I woke up right after that um, but I knew I knew it was something coming for the church, and, and I wanted to get more specific of what it was. And so, um, what he reminded me of was the book of Job. The devil was allowed to come against Job. The devil was allowed, remember that, by God. God presented Job, and God is presenting his church. He is weeding out right now. The, the wheat and the tares. And people are going to begin to to fall away. The lukewarm will fall away. The ones that are really for him. We're going to see this. And we're going to know who's who. But the storm that's coming is the attacks of the enemy. That God is allowing. That he's presented us. Uh, uh, the body of Christ. To Satan. To allow these things. <clears throat> for the purpose of separating. The wheat and the tares. And that, that high pressure system is the high pressure, and it's actually talking about putting a high amount of pressure upon the body of Christ. Spiritual warfare is rising. As the temperature is increasing, the spiritual warfare is increasing, and uh, that pressure is being put on the church to see who's going to fold and to see who's really for him. And there's so much disunity in the church right now. Um, that's going to be shed off, and the people that are actually for Christ under Christ instead of their own doctrines and, and, and denominations and theologies, uh, they will begin to fall off and you'll be able to know in the spirit who is who. Uh, and so that high pressure system, the attacks of the enemy, the spiritual warfare coming for us. Now the tornado, the damaging tornado that comes, that is was uh, in the book of Job, that was the Lord, the whirlwind that came. And what it did was bring the fear of the Lord upon, upon Job, um, Job's saying, I, I have questioned you about things that I do not know, uh, that are too wonderful for me. And, uh, then it went and went and, uh, the Lord in the whirlwind came to Job's friends and, uh, made them go sacrifice with him and apologize to him so that Job would pray and they would be forgiven. <clears throat> so that whirlwind is the fear of the Lord that's going to come upon the church that tornado is the fear of the Lord that's going to come upon the church because of this high pressure the devil is being allowed to put on top of us. And it's coming. It is coming straight for us and it's going to come in ways that we don't understand and we don't know. But we need to stand firm upon the word of God. Get in the word. Know the word that is our sword. This is war, spiritual war. This is, you got to think of this as like, you are actually a soldier. We are in real true war right now against the enemy, against the forces of evil, demons, <clears throat> and the, the weapon we have, prayer, worship, and the word, the word of God. And even myself, I need to get into it more. The Holy Spirit's been uh, convicting me even, and he's convicting me now while I'm preaching through, uh, through me, while he's pre preaching through me, that we can always be in it more. We can always be in a place of worship more. He gave me a word a year ago, um, and I released it. It's on my YouTube and stuff. It's called uh, War of Worship. And I believe this goes hand in hand with it, that uh, our, war, our worship is a form of warfare. And it's going to bring us victory even when things don't look good. When the enemy brings the high pressure, we were made for this. We were made for war. We are alive now, breath in our lungs. Thank you, Lord, because we were made for such a time as this. Just as Esther, Esther 4.14, we were made for such a time as this. 
He made you to war and to be a soldier in this time, to find the lost in this time. He made you for this time specifically, not in the past, not in the future. How much future we got left, who knows? Not a lot probably, but for this time, for this time, such a time as this, you are here for. You have purpose. If you have breath in your lungs, you have purpose. And if you don't know what to do, worship him. Read the word and preach to the lost. There, that's your that's your number one goal right now. Get in the word. Uh, spiritual warfare is going to be intense. It's about to be intense. I don't know the exact attacks coming upon upon the church right now, but I know that that God is presenting the church to the devil to be attacked, just as in uh, He did Job in the book of Job. And the high pressure is coming. The pressure is on. And, it's, and in the dream, it was very close. It was an hour away. It was moving fast. It wasn't going to take long. You know, not even, uh, 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 you know, an hour away and, and, and it moving fast. That's not, that's not long. That's not long. It's close. It's nearby. It's around the corner. It's around the corner. It's probably already, we're already seeing the frontline winds. We're already seeing maybe some sprinkles. We're already seeing the, the, the disunity in the church. We're already seeing the witchcraft and the warfare come against the church. And they're allowed right now. Don't be separated as wheat, or as tares among the wheat. Do not, not in this time, stand firm. Ten toes down on the word of God. Ten toes down on the promises of God. Uh, and, and ten toes down on your worship, on truth. Stop fighting one another. We have a common enemy and we're not going to have the energy, the, the time to fight each other anymore. God is, uh, he's, he hates it that we fight each other. Just come together under two, the two most, uh, the two greatest commandments he gave us. We're not even looking like that. We're not following it. Love, uh, love Lord your God first, foremost, with all you got and love one another as you love yourself. The two greatest commands. And you cover a multitude of sins. <clears throat> because you love him, you follow his commands. Because you love your brother, that you will serve them. You will war for them. Lift one another up in prayer. Bear one another's burdens. The Lord says, I desire mercy over sacrifice. Show mercy to your uh, the ones that, that you have a bitterness or uh, a place in your heart of anger. Show mercy. Just as he shows mercy to us, if he if we do not forgive our enemies uh, and those that we do not like, if we do not forgive them of their sins against us, then neither will our Father in heaven forgive us of our sins. That's a big deal. Like we gotta we gotta get this right. We gotta get it right right now. We gotta get it together as a church. Fall under unity, under love, under the uh, the Word of God, Jesus Christ. Quit fighting over these stupid things. Everybody thinks everybody's a witch or false, false, uh, doing false doctrine. If they don't line up with the word of God, let him weed it out right now. Stand on the word that you know to be true. Yes, there are people in the church that are doing witchcraft. There are people preaching false. They're, they're going to come. They're always going to be there until the end. He warns us that there are many will come and they are already here. So we're focusing too much on those things and on the enemy when we should be focusing on unity, love, and uh, 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 the, the task at hand of the lost, the task at hand of worship, of reading our word, our sword. You guys, I want to encourage you. There is a time coming now, basically now, right around the corner, any day, any time, any hour, that this high-pressure system will hit us. It will hit us. And the fear of the Lord will come upon the church. The fear of the Lord is coming. And it's coming very, very soon. No matter what the enemy's doing, no matter what the world is doing, stay focused on the task at hand. Stay focused on the Word of God. Stay focused on loving one another. Husbands, stay focused on loving your wives and your family as Christ loved the church. Wives, submit and stay focused on serving your husband. Serve one another. And pray, lift one another up. It's going to get real, y'all. And I, please do not take this lightly. And you don't even have to listen to what I'm telling you. Take it to the Lord first. I've got my confirmation. I've prayed about it. I got my confirmation. I got the dream for a reason. Whoever sees this, it's not an accident. The Lord wants you to know. Please share this so people can be warned and prepared. Embrace themselves for the things that are about to happen. It's getting real. I love you guys. Jesus is king. 
Jesus loves louder than hate. Jesus loves us. I love you guys. Please share this. If you don't already follow me, like the video, follow me. Uh, if it's on YouTube, subscribe. Um, do what you can to get this word out. Pray about it. I love you guys. Be prepared. In Jesus' name, God bless you.